Hey up, morning folks. Welcome back on board Potemkin. What a glorious day it is today, Sunday morning, it's absolutely glorious out there. It's still as a mill pond and uh, a bit of activity on the marina. They're working on the old boat over there. The Canal and River Trust people are working on the uh, the, the wooden um, barge that was built here. It was out yesterday, a uh, horse comes along and tether it up and then they take it out for the day down the cut. Right, a couple of jobs today we're going to get on with. We've got these winders for the pigeon box to lift the lids up either side. Right, so that attaches to the steel lid and it wants a bolt through. So we've got to drill and tap, take them off, drill and tap those. Um, they're just a, an M4 bolt but they're not the proper ones. I need countersunk stainless ones but we haven't got any but we'll put them in for now. And uh, then it's just two screws through there into the timber and then you turn the handle and the lid should lift. So that's, uh, I've got four of those to put on and I've got some electrical can do it. A few lengths of that and down here. So the can do it. I'll be running because we're going to get power to this which is uh, 12 volts. We've got to get 12 volt power up to the navigation lights which will go up there but that'll probably go through the top chunking. Uh, we'll see anyway one way or other. So I need to run that down the length of this boat down there to the engine room and that's where all the fuse boxes will be and everything, all the gubbins in there. So I thought it was a adhesive one this, so I must have bought the wrong one. we would have to screw them on, <laughs> it's a pain. Anyway, that's a couple of jobs to get on with today and we'll see how far we get and we'll get done what we can. So in the bathroom we've got two uh, winders to put on and in this back bedroom the same they do all want painted up correctly and some I've got some seals to put on them so they'll close down to seals and if you can see there that's where I've marked where that fitting goes so I'm going to go outside take that off bring it in we'll drill and tap those two holes and then fix it on in here and that's it, it shouldn't take too long and at least they'll wind down properly and keep closed that's it, we've got them off so I've took them both got them both in here look a bit of a mess they all need painting obviously these are the original ones from this boat although I made the other pigeon box, these are the original ones so they've been on it uh, since the 80s. So there's my old, I'll just copy them onto that other one, the same position. And we'll drill and tap those now, and we'll have them on. So the easiest way, and the most successful way to tap tools like that, is to tap one first and then remark for the second one. Should I try and mark them both twice because you'll move them when you put your screw in no doubt. Right. So we need the centre of that and pop it
So a bit of a mystery this, because you've got to put a bolt through there and tighten it up. There were no instructions came with these uh, winders. Now that's an insert, so I can only presume that's it's tapped into there. So we'll get a spanner and try and take it out, otherwise I don't know how you can get a bolt in and tighten it up. So that's it, they are, they're tapped, so you put your screw in, tighten it up then you can put that pin back in, great idea that, I never noticed really at the beginning that that was behind here now do you get to it and I never thought, give it a thought, anyway that's done now so, great bit of engineering in these winders, they're cracking for the money you know, I don't know how they do it for what they charge. But, uh, so we'll fasten that onto that plate and then we can mark the other hole accurately and drill and tap that. That's it, we're done. We'll put that back in. So now we can easily remove everything off here to get these decorated correctly. Uh, these aren't the correct screws, they're not stainless, but they'll do for now. And what I'm going to do on the outside is actually leave them longer and then put a nice uh, A2 stainless cap nut on it, dome headed nut. So it's a finished article on the outside, not just a, a nut. And then, uh, otherwise, you're going to have to cut them off flush. And when you paint it, uh, if they move and start moving, it's going to crack the paint all the time. So we'll put a nut on the outside, fit it up. And also, should somebody undo with those nuts, <laughs> they ain't going to get the bolts out, <laughs> the tapped in. So that's the idea, that's it done. And then this just clips back in like that. And we've just got to screw that into the timber then. So I'll get all the rest of these done. Don't think you want to see all that lot. So I'll get these done and then we'll fit them in the openings. Right, I've got one screwed on up there this side's still loose right but one thing I was always concerned with was when you turn that it's going to move up there and how close how far that goes up before that actually hits that right. and I always knew I'd probably have to pack these off to give it a steeper angle right. so that's fully down Right now we're colliding there. So all we've got to do is pack that off. So we get this angle flatter uh, and that gives a, a, a longer stroke for that handle. So the way around it is we've got to pack that off. That's the bracket that goes on. So that sits on there like that. I'll cut these off and we'll take an edge off these so they you know they don't look such a big bulky thing and that should then well that will certainly pack it off enough it may be that I cut that down I don't know because we're making it up as we go along it's trial and error so that's what I'm going to do now I'm going to make a packer for that and see how we go with that
That's it then. Packer block made. We'll drill through that and we'll have it on. This works. Right, that's it fully down. It, it? Right. So all we can do is try one on that side now. I don't think it's going to be a problem. Might be a bit busy up there, but. Right, I can't finish those today. I've got to cut these blocks down. That stuck out. It doesn't need to be that much out. I need to use them all by 10 mil, and I've not got to surplus or anything here to cut them. So I'll take the timber home and make them in the workshop. I've got them all uh, drilled and tapped on. So it's only a matter of then coming back, screwing those blocks on, and the mounted then. So I'll do them in the workshop when I can uh, lack them and everything, and then just come and put them on. So that's it for today for them. So I think I'm going to run some of this chunking in. Just fasten it there above that water pipe. And that will take the power down to that, um, that gauge. And also to the water pump here. So that's what I'm going to do. <laughs> Not done it for a bit, but I'm going to move everything out of here and <laughs> move it over to get in. So that's what I'm going to do now. Oh, got a dab on now. Right, we've got a chunking all the way down to the engine bay, which is what we need. So they can actually run some wiring now to this pump and to this uh, tank gauge. I think we'll have a wet somewhat cold. <laughs> it's a bit warm. <laughs> Not used to this this year. Anyway. We're carrying on. Done. Right now I've got a wire down there, that's about it for today. Push stuff back over to this side now because the boat's leaning over. <laughs> so anyway, I'll see you next time. Right, following day. So I took the block to work, I've made some more. Instead of being 25mm thick, they're 15 So a lot now uh, I fitted these two on and they work fine. Take you up there eventually. 
right? So they all turn okay, uh, they're close yet, but they don't collide. You can have them up. So that's it, that's how they work. So they just stop up there, which is good. So you can have plenty of airflow coming out. And uh, especially summer evenings and what have you, you're going to get rid of the heat straight up. So that's exactly what I wanted. And it was just a matter of thinning those down so these didn't collide. It's a bit busy up there, but I'm not fussy about that. do not matter, does it? this one on that's it that screws them down nice Right, that's them done. So they open up to like virtually horizontal. I don't need them any more than that. You don't want them any more than that because if it rains, you're gonna, <laughs> it's going to come straight in. So that's fine. But uh, that'll do me those. I'm happy with those. We will, uh, these are all stainless, A2 stainless. So uh, the screws I put in were just mild steel screws so they want swapping out for stainless screws so made too stainless so we don't want bloody rust dripping down here and uh, next thing we we'll get those lids off and uh, we'll get them all painted up but that's for another day anyway that's it for this one yesterday we got the when we started these and we got them all tapped, drilled and tapped. The blocks I needed to cut down today. So I put them on and we've got to conduit in and some wire in it. Looks like job's nearly done now. We're we'll moving on soon. Anyway, that's it for now folks. So thanks everyone. Thanks for watching. Thanks for subscribing. Don't mind if you subscribe, it uh, don't cost the out, you know. Anyway, see you all later. Ciao!